Good morning to you all on this great Sunday morning, the last Sunday in October 2022. I hope you guys are having a great morning thus far, and I hope you guys all had a great October. It went by pretty fast, but it's okay. It's okay. We were all here to what to enjoy it. Another month we're going into woohoo, my birthday month, and um. We will continue to enjoy the remaining of this year. Two months, you guys. Whatever you are looking to get done, go on and get it done. Don't wait. Stop hesitating. Stop stagnating yourself and go out and do what it is that you are supposed to be doing, okay? I just want to share this beautiful message on today. I pray, Lord Jesus, that my family and friends... Um, people who may see this video that I do not even know will take heed of what you are saying to all of us, Father. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, for helping us and to allow us to apply it to our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen and amen, you guys. I am, I've am i been studying the book of Luke, so I'm really taking my time because this is like one of the longest books in the Bible. Um, I'm on... Luke chapter 13, but I went back today. I went back to um, chapter 10. So I'm going from chapter 10, um, starting at verse 38, all the way down to verse 42. And it reads, as Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he, ah, he, yes, yes, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her name, opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted. Be careful of your distractions by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care what my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me, Lord. <laughs> Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Mary Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from her. Mary was not distracted like Martha. We can become distracted with so many things, I kid you not. And when we become distracted, we tend to forget to pray. We tend to forget to read God's word. We for, we tend to forget Forget to go to church. Church is you. Remember that. Go fellowship with others inside a building or outside. Uh, we just forget the things of God. We worry what shall we eat. We worry what shall we drink. We worry what shall we wear. We worry how shall we look. You know, it's, it's worry about when our bills um could be paid, coulda, woulda, shoulda, all that. But I'm here to tell you, stop worrying. Do not fret. Stop worrying, okay? God has you. Keep your mind focused on him and you will be just fine. You will be more than just fine. You will be all right. You will be, you will be taken care of by God, okay? So stop worrying, Sit at the Lord's feet. Pray to him. Tell him everything that you need. He already know. Ask him for your wants. Ask him for your heart desires. He already know before you're going to ask him. But don't forget about him when he bless you what it is that he asks for you. You have to keep on sitting at the Lord's feet. You have to keep on praying. You have to continue to work for the Lord. Do what it is that it is called of you to do not what you want to do 
but what it is that God is calling you to do. There are people are here that need what it is that you have to give that God has blessed you with. I just wanted to share that. Don't allow yourself to be distracted like Martha was. We all get distracted at times. But when you feel that you are being distracted, get back in order with the Lord. It takes away stress. It keeps you happy. It keeps joy in your heart. It keeps you humble. And most of all, you won't, You don't have to worry. You won't be stressed out all over the place that time. When the distractions come, you'll be all over the place. Like Martha said, Lord, tell her to help me. Some people can't even help you. You got to help yourself. Stop allowing yourself to be distracted. People say, oh, that person is a distraction. Oh, that person. No, the distraction could be you, yourself. Look in the mirror. What are you allowing for you to be distracted from what God is calling you to do? That's the question for you today. I pray that this message will touch you in a way that it will keep you going forth in the Lord, making you want to be the person that he has called you to do, be a blessing to many, many others, and just know that you are blessed. No distractions. Keep it going. Go sit at the Lord's feet. Tell him all that you need to do and ask him to show you the way. He will guide your footsteps. He will direct you. You will be you will have a sound mind in him. Blessings to you all. Now remember that it's coming from the book of Luke chapter 10 verses 38 through 42. And as I said earlier on my social media, as I was studying this, I put on there, it says, verse 41, you guys, Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things. Come on. But only one thing is needed. I put my name in it. Put your name on it. Tamara has chosen what is.